Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Joe Alvarez, and back today to talk to you about TrackLib. TrackLib is a full-blown library that lets you download actual songs from actual artists of today and yesteryear, and they have a cool way to work with the copyrights in order to clear those samples. So it works for the producer as well as the original copyright holder of the original content that you're sampling. So whether you're chopping, looping, they have certain stipulations on how to go about to get that license cleared and get that copyright for your beat. So let's look at the interface real quick before we get into the logistics and the legality of it first. When you first, I'm just trying uh, a trial version, but when you first sign up, this is the screen that you see. You have inspiration for our catalog. You have all tracks, collections, genres, artists, labels, purchase tracks, favorites, and new collection. You have your songs here, how it works, blog, and then the credit as well as your profile, referrals, settings, logout, all that good stuff. And then once you click on a song that you like, this is where it's pretty cool. So say I want to play this. It comes up with this nice little waveform where you can see the actual song. And you can scroll in real time. And let's say you come up on a part that you like. You say, you know what? I want to loop that. You just press this little loop right here. And it lets you loop it by one bar, two bars, four bars, eight bars, six, 16. I thought I saw 16 before, but I don't think I have enough space here. I think it's 16, but for some reason it's not doing on this track. Let's try a different track. So I guess it's track dependent. I was just saying it wrong. All right, so yeah, it's up to 16. And if you like that, then you just come over here, download loop, one credit, boom. You can add or remove loop from your collection. So say you're not sure you want to download it just yet. And then you can add loop to your favorites. And then you control the volume on this little volume icon. So that's basically how it works. You have an X amount of downloads depending on your plan, which I'll get into right now. So let's look at plans and pricing. So plans and pricing. Join many of today's top producers, right? So this is a subscription-based platform where you can access a library of real music, real artists who've had hits from the past and their record labels or the artists themselves are saying, hey, you know what? we will let you use our music and we will work out the copyrights and the licensing accordingly. So you have different options just to access the library. So just to access TrackLib, you have the Essential Pack, which is $5.99 a month. You get five tracks downloads per month, plus two featured tracks a month. So whatever those featured tracks, you get those included. And then you have the Standard, $13.99 a month for 15 track downloads per month, plus the two features uh, each month. And then you have the professional, which is 32 track downloads per month, plus two featured tracks as well. Right now, I'm just um, trying the trial, so I'm not going to sign up just yet. And again, it's a subscription-based access library, but here is where it gets a little more... Um, tricky in regards to the logistics just because you join tracklib and have access to this cool library and begin to chop all these cool songs don't mean that you can't just put them on spotify youtube apple music and all that stuff and start making money off of it right license to release is where really you have to understand when you're using tracklib so license to release if according to how they write it is, if you want to release your new song, you must first get a sampled license. That's the standard way of doing business when you are sampling someone else's music. 
you have to get that sample cleared. Otherwise, like many, many people have done in the past, if they don't clear something and it becomes a hit record, guess who's owning 100% of the money to that song? The original artist that you didn't clear the sample for. So here, all the tracks on Tracklib are in agreement to let your license clear. So it's not like you're sampling somebody's song from a record label that's not going to clear it. All the songs, as I understand it here on Tracklib, will be cleared. And the way that works is they have different categories per license. You have category A, you have a $1,500 per license in accordance to how much you sample from that track. Category B is $500 per license and category C is $50 per license. And so royalty fair, so what they're marketing this as royalty fair, not royalty free, because they want producers to chop up these songs because everybody's going to win. The artists of yesteryear make some money, hopefully, as well as the, the record labels and the producers get a chance to shine and make modern day beats. So in accordance to what this is saying, it says, depending on how much of the original song you sample, you share a different percentage of the future rev revenue. So if this beat you make and the song that you make starts going crazy on Spotify and you get in 100,000 hits per week, you're going to be making a decent amount of money back from that, right? So here, the way they write it, it doesn't matter how long you use a sample for in your new song, you can loop five seconds for 10 minutes and still only five seconds of that sample at a time. So the total sample length is cumulative. It doesn't have to be a continuous piece. And then they stipulate that even further by going into how much percentage each sample length is worth in the different categories. Now you got to stick with me here because I know I'm getting into a little more of the legality of it and the logistics of how the legal process works in this regard. But it's really important to understand this because you just don't want to be using this thinking it's free and then... All of a sudden, one of your beats blow the hell up, one of your songs blow the hell up for the beat that you use, and you, uh, you didn't clear the sample. So in accordance to category A, if you're using 10 seconds, uh, two seconds or less, you're going to pay up to 10%. If you're using 15 seconds or less, you're going to use, you're going to pay up to 25%. And then if you're going to use 60 seconds or less, you're going to use up, to, you're going to pay up to 35% within category A and then category B has its own stipulations uh, own stipulation and percentages. And so keep in mind, for some people this might be a turnoff. They might say, well, wait a minute, I'm paying a plan and pricing per month to access Tracklib. Yes, you're paying to access the library of content that they're offering and the partnerships that they're creating with these songs which gives you an easier access to clear your samples as opposed to if you just go on YouTube and you rip someone's song, you make a beat out of it, this beat winds up blowing the hell up and you're streaming 100,000 streams on Spotify per month on the song that you didn't clear. Now you have a lot of legal issues. And so if you are a professional and if you're someone who is really inspiring to make it to the next level, you got to consider the options of the license and why it's worth it to you. So that about wraps it up for Tracklib overview. Again, you got to consider if this is right for you. If you're just starting out and you're just learning about producing, this might not be right for you. If you're somewhere in between where you're trying to shop your beats, you're trying to bring up your production and, and sample a little more, a little more of the classics, this might be for you because it's a win-win. It's a nice, um, even playing field in regards to how the logistics are worked out from a legal standpoint in order to help producers who do sample clear and license some of those samples to their songs, to their beats. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like, give a comment, subscribe if you're inclined to figure out more nerdy stuff. Peace.